It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey, man, it has been an outrageous last couple of days, man. Just yesterday, we had Cassie come out and file a freaking lawsuit, 35 pages, if I'm not mistaken, detailing all of her past dealings with Sean P. Diddy Combs, accusing him of all sorts of S.A. trafficking, any sort of wrongdoing that you could possibly think of from a man to a woman, she claimed that he had done it, okay? Once this information hit the net, it was like the floodgates opened up, man. Former bad boy artists have come out and voiced their support of Cassie from D. Woods, Don Richard from Danny D. Kane, Aubrey O'Day. So many people came out and voiced their support for Cassie on a worldwide level, right? There's so much information that's resurfacing from past girlfriends of Diddy coming out and saying that he also did the same things to them. There's old footage coming out of him being weird with other men, right? The old fabulous clip has resurfaced. He got Nori blowing candles out. People talking about old stuff with him and Usher, which definitely is off-putting. The way that he was taking Justin Bieber under his wing as a young 15 year old little boy all of this stuff coming to this head all the things that people have been you know just sweeping under the rug for years it was like the chickens had finally come home to roost right a lot of people that never liked diddy were definitely tap dancing and having the time of their lives just waiting to see him go to prison or even worse, allegations of him setting Kid Cudi's car on fire. Kid Cudi actually confirmed that all of this happened. People were rehashing the incident between J. Cole and Diddy where he allegedly tried to pour a drink over Kendrick Lamar's head for calling himself the King of New York on control. J. Cole intervened and pieced him up real quick and went about his business. All of this stuff was coming back. And just when everybody thought y'all backed him into a corner, guess what? The Joker got away. Cassie has officially settled her lawsuit with P. Diddy. Okay. This will go no further. The case has been let off. They're no longer pursuing it. Let's get into this, man. So we've got the New York Times here, which I got my original story from them in the first place. They've updated that same article and it now says Sean Combs and the singer Cassie have reached a settlement just one day after she filed an explosive lawsuit accusing the hip hop mogul of S.A. and numerous instances of physical abuse. The parties announced on Friday evening that they had reached an agreement to resolve the case, though they disclosed no details about the terms of such settlement. Cassie says, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. Cassie, whose full name is Cassandra Ventura, said in a statement, I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Diddy follows up with his own statement and says, We have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. Furthermore, they state, for Mr. Combs, the settlement quickly shuts down what could have been a risky and potentially embarrassing process of legal discovery in which reams of evidence are made public and a possible trial. And Ms. Ventura, who has already aired her accusations through a public complaint, avoids a cross-examination by Mr. Combs' attorneys. In a lawsuit that drew international attention, Ms. Ventura, who signed to Mr. Combs' bad boy label in 2005 when she was 19 and dated him for about a decade, accused Mr. Combs of what she said was years of beatings controlling behavior and various forms of sa including a you know what i mean now y'all know settlements out of court mean some moolah yeah, yeah, young moolah baby got exchanged okay now the lawsuit was for 30 million dollars basically saying you can make this all go away if you tail up 30 million dollars this is my price i'm not lowering my price that's what it's going to take, right? And within 24 hours, it's been settled. It's been tossed. So y'all know that man, he, he opened up that checkbook and let that shit fly. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there are probably disappointed. We don't know what Cassie's motive is here, but clearly she wanted some money. I don't know if she's falling upon hard times or if she really felt like this was going to be the best move and that she literally wanted to let her truth be told. I don't know if her goal was to just plant the seed for people to know who he is and to dig further with their own discernment and get paid off of it. I don't know what type of game is being played here, to be honest, you know? We had the actress Paula J. Parker, a.k.a. the hood rat from Friday. She was out here saying she was trying to find out who the victim was in this situation because she did not believe that Cassie was a victim. She says she feels like even though she was 19, she knew how to say no. 
right? She said, why would you date this man for 10 years? There was no way for you to get away from him. And she received a lot of overwhelming backlash on social media for voicing her opinion, right? A lot of people were saying that it was shitty of her to victim blame and shame when she had been through her own set of hardships in the industry dealing with men. Again, in less than 24 hours, the narrative has completely shifted. They also made mention of the fact that she's avoiding being cross-examined by P. Diddy's lawyers, okay? Which means that she really did not want to go up for the fight. She didn't want to have to come under questioning, meaning that they would have to call her character into question, right? Basically stating, why did you let this go on for so long? Why did you never do anything? Why are there not records of you complaining, calling police? There's a lot of pressure that comes with that. A lot of people fold. You can't be stuttering. You can't be misquoting yourself and then trying to take it out of the history of the of the uh, of the record. Right. So despite a 35 page long lawsuit that said that they wanted a jury trial, all of it's gone within a day. <laughs> Diddy is a shrewd motherfucking businessman. Y'all H have you ever seen some shit like this before? The shit didn't even linger past the weekend. It came out on Thursday, got set up by Friday night. The NYPD even backed the fuck off. They first, they first came out and said that they were going to open up an investigation on this motherfucker. They've also backed down. No 50 cent. Man, check this shit out. NYPD walks back report of Diddy criminal investigation amid Cassie lawsuit. Come on, dog. What the fuck going on? Cassie sued Diddy for sexual abuse in new york court but the hip-hop mogul isn't facing a criminal case as of yet the nypd claimed diddy was not the subject of a secret criminal investigation on the heels of cassie's bombshell lawsuit against the hip-hop mogul the police department released a statement denying the existence of an active case involving diddy yesterday a member of the nypd's public information office erroneously told a reporter about the apparent existence of an active case file containing the name sean combs okay this is what the nypd told tmz they're just giving bold ass statements to tmz now there is no such investigation at present. Further, the release of such information is not consistent with the internal policies of the Office of the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information. The NYPD always treats allegations of SA extremely seriously and urges anyone who has been a victim to file a police report so that support and services can be offered to survivors and a comprehensive investigation can be conducted. The NYPD had to clarify the situation after TMZ ran a report about a supposed investigation of Diddy citing law enforcement sources and a statement from the department's public information team. The story did not disclose if the investigation was directly related to Cassie's allegations. In less than 24 hours, everybody has completely walked back their story. Everybody has backed off. Let the shit ride. He lives to fight another day. So you know what this means. His legacy will continue to be further cemented in the, in the minds and hearts of people. Those that did not know or were not aware about this situation will never know about it. Those who really did not give two fucks about the situation and only wanted to participate in social media fodder will continue to joke about it and use it as another piece, another chink in his armor that they can create jokes about. And those that were passionately involved and wanted to see an offender get justice are now disappointed. Nothing has changed really outside of Cassie's bank account, which is going to be loaded up, if not already. And here we are talking about it once again. The fact that bad boy, former artists, people that intimately know what Cassie went through because they possibly would have went through it themselves or witnessed it themselves, probably received payouts and little kickbacks on staying silent. Everyone thought this was going to be their moment to shine. This was going to be their opportunity to let this be known for the world without having to deal with consequences from the boogeyman himself. And just like that, the opportunity just fades through their fingertips. Mm -mm -mm. Bad boy for life, ain't it? Let me know what y'all think of this crazy shit down below in the comments, man. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. Look, man, I don't know what the fuck to believe at this point. There was so much damning evidence that came out on social media. There was so much details in that goddamn lawsuit. There was so much that was being confirmed. So many people that sat in the wings just waiting on their opportunity to say what needed to be said because they had stayed silent. This is what happens when you remain complicit. I don't know what the fuck this nigga did. And if he did it to somebody else, I mean, his ex-girlfriend said she went through the same shit, right? 
Oh, and let's not forget, he has a rap album coming soon. The sequel to the Love album where they did the R&B shit. They doing hip hop. So I guess everybody's going to have their opportunity to take it back to the dance floor one more time until the next incident. Again, let me know what y'all think of this shit down below in the comments. Much love and respect. Y'all stay safe out there, man. Peace. Yeah. King of my city in cul de sac. Uh. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Yeah. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. We don't do beef for computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters. Like calories, uh, cross my mind, I came back with some battery stand for my honor. But you run no gunner, packing a stick with a drum. Wanna catch my bad one fumble? I done came too far to be humble.